What's up, Chosen Few? Today I want to go over a little quad up position, but we're going to get it from an overhook um, when we're in the guard. A while back I went over a video of getting a triangle from there, so now we're going to do kind of the same thing, but we're going to finish with the omoplata, okay? So, we're going to start off on the guard, and what I like to do, obviously, remember, no thumbs, monkey grip, I'm grabbing his wrist, I'm bringing him down to the mat. As soon as I get this position, my arm is gonna come up, grab his head. My other arm is gonna grab his tricep just so he can't back away from me. As soon as I get my position here, I'm gonna move my hips out and I'm gonna bring him into me here, okay? Now I'm in a good framed position where I'm bringing my knee up and I'm holding his tricep from here where he can't really move away. Try to move away. I got a good base. I've broken down his base and I have a good enough base to keep him down. Okay, now from here, my hand that's controlling that tricep is gonna swoop in under here while my knee's still up, okay? And now that I have this position, this is a really good controlled position where even if he tries to punch me out in the street or something like that, I control, I can move my elbow to stop those punches and I can just hold until I get help or until he gets tired and I can tap him out from there, okay? So from here, as soon as I get my position, what I need to do is I'm keeping my, my guard really tight on him my knee on top of his shoulder, I'm gonna extend, okay? If I extend good enough, I can get an arm bar from here, but that's not what I'm going for, okay? As soon as I extend here, the leg that's putting pressure down on top of his, his shoulder blade is gonna come up over, and I'm gonna bring it right in front of his face, okay? And now that I have this position, I'm gonna switch my grips. My overhook hand is gonna stay there where I grab his elbow with my right hand, and now the overhook's gone, I'm gonna press his hand right in my pocket, okay? And now that I get my position here, it's really easy for me to scoop my hips away, and I'm gonna press down with my hamstring to the ground here, okay? And now for me to finish this omoplata, I have to make sure that I'm in a better position for him, and I have to break him down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm keeping control of his elbow with my right hand, my left hand is gonna reach for his ankle, and I'm gonna pivot my hips out, and a little snake move here. And now that I have my position, he's flattened out, okay? I have finished 100% of my guys from here as soon as I get this position, okay? Not one person's been able to get out. So as soon as I flatten him out, this is my 100% move, okay? Keeping his elbow, I'm gonna grab his hip, and I'm gonna do a sit-up, okay? As soon as I get this sit-up here, depending how big the guy is, if he's really big, I'm gonna hold on to his hip, but if he's a smaller guy, I can put my hand on the mat, okay? I'm putting a lot of pressure here, and my stomach and my hip are holding that arm in place so he can't get out, okay? Now what I need to do is my leg that's pressing down, I'm gonna have my knee step up, and I'm gonna press up at the same time where it's really tight. If you see, I'm pressing down on the ground to get that angle so he can't go anywhere, okay? And now from here, I make sure I get that 45 degree angle. There's too much dip this way, or this way, as soon as I go in that 45, forward, I get that tap, okay? 45 degree angle. One more time. Break him down, grab, hip over, get my overhook. Control, extend, leg over, and now from here, one, two, switch around. Grab that ankle. Throw my hips out. Now I get my own plata position. Staying tight here, controlling down on that leg, on that arm with my leg, and then up with my other one. And then at that 45 degree angle, finish that own plata. All right, like and subscribe.